put them down. So, it's too long. Um, you want it to lay flat against the window. The problem is the window has track rubber fillers, so the window runs on a track. So you can see this, this one fit better, but is still bowed. So I think what has to happen is I have to undo the top, trim it up a little bit, because either that or I'm gonna have to trim the bottom, because this has to be in whatever the track is available. Let's take a look what that is. This is called Reflectix, and it's that easy to stick it in, but you only have a certain place for it. So you got a window frame edging here. I think what I'm going to do is this is the piece that's sitting to help support the, the screen. So I'm going to take this out, mark it, so that it goes back when the screen goes back in. And other than this bar right here on the bottom, that gives me the full track. So I can cut this so that it sits in the track and then trim this up better so that it fits the top track. That's what I'm going to do. You can see the fold. So the cut actually is probably going to be right where that is because it just has to get back into this but it needs to sit in that groove better. It's easier, from what I can tell, to start at the bottom, set it in the track. And it might be better that this window gets done in two pieces as opposed to one because of the window track. One of the benefits of doing that is probably gonna be that I would then be able to open the window should I ever need to. Um, so I'm going to consider that option. I'm going to fit this right into that groove. Get it over as tight as I can. And get it down in that track more than what it was. I think it's because this is not rounded. So I'm going to round this off. It's cool stuff. I think it'll work with. You want to be cautioned about using anything for tape that either sticks permanently like duct tape or might peel the paint off. It doesn't have to be permanently affixed, it just has to stay in place. <laughs> All right, and I know that I have that track. I'm going to move this up back up here and see. I really need to cut that. Get in there. All this is is foil covered bubble wrap. It's got a nice R factor. And the whole reason we're putting it up is because this when this RV is all about wintering. Being winterized. So not an issue here. I don't know what the issue is. I guess it's just pushing down, so it's not going to fit. So I'm just going to trim this up a little bit. If I cut this, the problem over here is there's no track to put it in, so I'd have no choice but to tape it. Um, I'm going to try and do it without it. I'm going to pull this down and trim it up. Another. Let's see what's over. scientific approach. But the other thing I was thinking I could do is a cardboard template, but I don't to go through all of cutting it twice. That's ridiculous. You just take your time, work one window at a time. One of the things that David and I see, it keeps coming up out of the track. 
Well, what I was going to say is one of the things Dave and I have talked about considering doing is finishing off the edge of this stuff with the foil uh, tape to make it a little more rigid. So that's another thing that I might consider doing. I just want to get it in there and hold it in there. So I think what I'm going to do is throw a little piece of tape on it just long enough to hold it. This is the foil stuff. This is the stuff that destroyed our epoxy. <laughs> uh, it sticks to everything. Use it sparingly. I just want it to stay. There's already a piece of tape there, so I stuck it to it. Alright. Let me get this. Hold it down so you can see it. with a nice pair of scissors. Fabric scissors probably work best. Or nice sharp scissors. Alright. Put in. Put in the corner. Now let's see what happens. Get it all up there. Much better. Much better. So it was just a little too long, so it was pushing itself out. That's what it was doing. Make a little slit here to go around the thing. There's another one on this end. Because what I want to have it done is come in as tight as I can. This side, this one's on this side. Put it in the bottom. Now the track on this side doesn't go right up against the glass. So I'm not, not going to take off too much from the bottom, if anything. I'm going to do the same thing. Take it from the top. This stuff is pretty good about laying it in place in a crinkled fashion from the bottom. Not perfect, but it'll work. And take this off because I want to stick permanently. Okay. I'm going to use this to label. This particular piece. That'll help the seam from splitting. Let me throw it down. Not perfect, but it's better than it was. What a project this has been. I need to come over here.
popper there. So this one's going to have to just sit this way. And now we'll just push it against the track. Well, it should hold it in place pretty well. Still got some bowing over here. But there you have it. Custom fitted to the window. No tape, just trimming, pressing in. Right? Peace out.